Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King 2 and today I'm going to be giving you Part 4 of What If Naruto Had a Different Dimension Being Sealed Inside of Him Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual Share this to all of your friends in your social media platform And also remember to go ahead and check out the brand new episode Of What If Naruto's Soul Was Taken By the Shinigami over on Anime King 3 And enjoy that guys and also, over in Anime King, I post a brand new episode of What If Naruto opened the gates of alchemy and got all the abilities. So go ahead and enjoy that, guys. And remember, for new and this is the first time you hear my voice, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you for all of your help and support. Remember to comment down below and tell me for new. I'll be replying talking about to all of you. So, yeah, without further ado, who do you say begin this new episode start? The intro! So the last spot we left off, the fight between the two missing names went on as they decide to flee in the end as the group was too overpowering for them. So with that they made their way. As for Naruto and the others, they return. As he got Kakashi placed down somewhere because he overused his Sharingan and his body was exhausted. So with that out of the way, Asuma decided to train the group as he brought them out. As Naruto already know the tree walking, so it's better if you move on to the water walking. As Delson that came out when he was talking to Asuma and he was explaining his smoke ability that he used on Haku. Delson spoke to both of them as Naruto came up with an idea of how he can use his techniques. As Delson was impressed, as he figured that might just work. So with that time passed as they trained. As Naruto was training hard as Ino came out to tell him that dinner was ready. As it was then that Naruto told her that he liked her as well. As she liked him, as he gave her a quick kiss. It caught her off guard but her cheeks reddened instantly. As they made their way back to the house, Inere started to babble as Naruto got angry at him. Before losing his cool as he left, he knew what to go after him but Asuma told her to let him blow off some steam. As Naruto made Haku while he was out there. As they spoke until Inu arrived. So with that they made their way back as Naruto felt something off with Haku. But he did not focus too much on it. The time finally came as the bandits came. As Naruto took care of him and protected Tatsumi and Inere. As he made his way on the bridge. As Zabuza was there along with Haku as the battle began. As Sasuke was trapped in the dome as he got littered with Senbons. As Naruto arrived just in time to step in. As Sasuke staggered back. Something was wrong though as Sakura noticed he moved towards him. Naruto heard Sakura release a blood curdling scream as Sasuke had internal bleeding from needles going in too deep as he kept on moving around and he he was not breathing anymore as Sakura started to throw Kunai towards Haku in rage who pushed her back as the ice on the bridge made her slip as he pushed her as she fell and hit her head hard as Naruto jumped down only to see one of the nails as the bridge was being repaired at the bottom where the spiral nails were. Naruto saw blood all over it as he realized another one was missing where Sakura head was on top of it. As Naruto lost his cool, he attacked Haku with a vicious raging power that exploded out of him as he beat him badly. As Naruto burned with smoke and ember really badly as he crashed where Zabuza and the others were. As Naruto came over as Haku saw himself as a broken tool. As Naruto was about to touch him something happened as his abilities reacted as he got ice. As the ice came around his hand as ice spikes ripped through Haku killing him. As Kakashi handled Zabuza. As Gato came back on the bridge Naruto was still angry at everything. He used his rage on Gato's man. 
as he then saw Soccer and Sosuke, who he found out was dead as well. As Naruto dropped, as he couldn't believe it, he was getting through to Sosuke to return back to the side of light, and now he was gone. As Naruto looked down, they were both dead. So yeah guys, that's basically what I thought for you guys again. Sweet chakra, so please check it out for yourself, so it's the beginning of this new episode. The group had returned back to Kanoha as it was somber. As everything was explained, the funerals were kept. As everyone came to pay their respect, Choji left the ninja business as he decided to help his mother manage a barbecue restaurant that they own. So the third gave Naruto a choice. Join Team 10 or wait until there was a new squad from the academy the following year. As Naruto agreed to this to only one condition though, that Kaka should get the overseas training, as Hiruzen agreed to that. And Team 7 was gone. Time skip. Keep on your toes, kid, said Awesome as he watched as Naruto leaped away from Shikamaru's shadow. As he deflected the cool net that Ino tossed towards him, Awesome then glanced up to the sky as he saw a hawk flying around. Already? The tune exams. As Naruto sweep under Ino's strike as he delivered for one-term midsection, she grabbed his arm though as she retaliated with a fierce knee to his stomach as Naruto countered with a cinder blast as she was sent flying back. What a drag, said Shikamaru. He's keeping us at bay and he's not even breaking a sweat as he tried to come up with a plan against his brother. However, said brother flashing beside him and delivering a vicious roundhouse kick knock all the plan out of his head as Shikamaru got up with a groan as he held the side of his head. You're an asshole, he said. And we're fighting, said Naruto as he caught Ino's fists as he threw her over his shoulder as a clone poof into existence and place a kuna at her throat. I win, said Naruto with a grin. The kids got a point to Kakashi as he walked up to the group, his book in his hand. Hey guys, what's up? Getting her ass beat by a one man army for the third time today, said Ino as Naruto helped her up as she playfully swat his arm as he pecked her on the cheek. What's up, Kakashi sensei, said Naruto as he walked over. Well, it appears that something special is beginning in Kanoha by the end of the week. The Chunin exams. It's determined to see if you're ready to move at the full chain. Being a Chunin is a great feat. It also means that you'll be able to branch off your normal squad and also be in charge as well. The Hokage has asked for me along with Asuma and the other Chunins. So it appears like you guys have the day off. As he gave them a salute before he vanished in a swirl of leaf. Asuma gave them a nod as he vanished away as well. So what do we do now, said Shikamaru? Well, we go out to eat. Ichiraku ramen or Choji barbecue. Hell yeah, said Naruto. How about we go get some ramen and barbecue? As he stepped forward before he paused, the smile on his face fading away. As he started to breathe shakily. Hey, Naruto. What's wrong, said Shikamaru? I can't. My chest. It hurts. As Naruto started to wheeze out. It feels like my entire body is on fire. He gripped his chest as he dropped to his knees. Naruto, both Ino and Shikamaru said. But the both of them were blown back by an invisible force. As Ino quickly got back up as she rushed towards him. Stop, said Naruto. Whatever this is, what's ever happening? Get away, said Naruto. I don't need you and Shikamaru to get hurt. As he screamed out in pain. Couldn't get to finish his sentence. As his entire body felt like he was being electrocuted, fried from the inside out, he bit back a scream images of wave country flooding through his mind. What the hell? What does this mean as he gasped for breath, his lungs fighting to get oxygen as he screamed. As Naruto saw an image of soccer in his mind, wave country. As he passed out, dropping face first, Ino didn't waste time rushing over, neither did Shikamaru, until Shikamaru grabbed her hand. Wait! How do we know that it won't happen again? As Shikamar pulled a kuna and threw it, it landed beside Naruto. Ino rushed over only for her to be blown back. What the hell, she said. Shikamar helped her up. But the kunai. Why can't I go close? I don't know, said Shikamaru. But he's completely out of it, so we can't get the answer, said Shikamaru. Damn it. Stay here, he said, as he rushed off quickly. Ino turned back to see her boyfriend unconscious. Please be okay, Naruto Kan, she said. But as she started to think back, Wave Country, now why would you be worried about that place? 
I mean, that is where she died. Over a month ago. Eno never wanted to admit this to anyone. She liked Naruto. She liked him a lot. But there was also a part of her that liked soccer. And it was weird. She never understood it. It was from they were children. And it didn't make any sense to her because the both of them were girls. So it didn't make any sense. But ever since Sakura died, well, ever since she had realized what actual feelings were, when she started developing them for Naruto, she realized that she actually liked Sakura as well. And that was just strange. Or maybe she was getting things wrong. Maybe it was because she was her best friend. She did not know, but she missed her a lot. Really, really much. After a while, she turned her head to see Kakashi Asuma Shikaku, her father Inuichi, coming as well. And Shikamaru, what's going on to Shikaku? As he sounds concerned for his adoptive son. We don't know, we were training. Then Naruto froze up and he had this seizure and he passed out. Whenever we try to get close, we get repelled by this unseen feel. Said Shikamaru to his father as Shikaku rubbed his goatee. As he didn't understand, perhaps it requires someone stronger, Asuma said. As Kakashi nodded at him, both men moved towards Naruto as a barrier, construct around the boy. Kakashi reached out as he touched it. It stopped his hand from going forward. What the? Why did he blow you guys back, Ino said. Like he said, it must require someone stronger, Inuichi said. As he gazed at the force field. Never seen anything like it before. It doesn't seem like there's a way to physically get in. But perhaps mentally. Don't even think about it. We don't know what's going to happen if you go in there right now. It may affect you and Ruto as well. Said Shikaku as he was worried about the both of them. Until a voice called out. No, stop. I knew how to help Naruto. As I was the one that did this. And put him in that state. The group froze. Especially Ino and Shikamaru. As he heard the feminine voice. No. This did not make sense. As they turned. Her green eyes focused on everyone before resting on Ino. Her lips curved up into a smile. Hello Ino. As she walked over. Ino stepped back before she stopped. As the girl reached up and poked Ino in the forehead. I missed you. Ino gulped as she stepped back once more. Was she seeing a ghost? No, it's midday and ghosts aren't real, right? And she poked her. So Sakura? Ino said confused and shocked. As Sakura giggled a bit. Yep, in the flesh. As she wrapped Ino up in a hug. As she whispered, I've missed you and Naruto can so much. As she pulled back before walking towards the barrier, as she pressed her hand against it, don't worry, it's gonna be alright now, she says she stepped forward, passing through it. Green lightning appeared in her palm. As she crouched down and she placed her hand over his heart, the lightning seemed to surround his body. Before she pressed her lips against his, Eno watches the lightning consume the two before it blasts outwards. Everyone shield their eyes. When they opened up their eyes, the shield was gone. Sucker got up as she backed away. As she stumbled, but she was caught. By Kakashi. As she almost fell. Damn it. As she seemed like she was drained. She looked up. Thank you, she said to Kakashi. Who nodded? Still shocked at what the hell was going on. As Sakura was being eyed by everyone. As Kakashi helped her back to her feet. N Naruto? Inu asked. As she saw him, still not moving, until his eyes snapped open. As he sat up, he looked around everyone looking at him, before his eyes fell on soccer. I'm still dreaming, he said. Oh, you're not, Naruto Kan, she said. Wait, soccer? Ino, Shikamaru? What's... No, but you're dead, said Naruto. No. Yeah, well, yeah, she said. But I was reborn. And I'm here to fulfill my goal, she said. As Naruto was confused. Your goal? Yes, yeah, she said. I was given another chance. Your goal, said Shikamaru. Still worry about this soccer that seems to just appear out of nowhere. And what's that? To be with Sasuke, he asks. Because that was always her goal in the beginning. Well, if that is the case. I'm afraid he's dead. He is? 
Well, that's the same, she said, as she shrugged it off like nothing. That further shocked everyone. My goals are quite simple, she said, to help Eno and Ruta reach their goals, to help and protect, nurture, and love them, she said. As Naruto paused, he pushed his pinkies into his ear. He cleaned them out seeing no earwax. What? He said, thinking that he was hearing something wrong. Not only was she alive, but she was... What? He was confused as hell. We can talk some more once I'm rest up, she said. As she walked over towards Ino. And rest on her, Ino was able to support her weight. I know about the certain crush that you have. Ino looked down towards her shock. Don't worry. The feelings are mutual. It's okay. I'm not going anywhere ever again, Eno Pig. Said Salker. Eno swallowed, so... Are, are you going to tell us how you return? Not now. I will in a few hours. So as long as everyone meet up back here, for now, I just want to stay with you and Naruto. As she then sat down on the ground, her legs cross. As Eno looked towards Naruto. As he nodded. Yeah, sure. We'll keep soccer company. You guys go on. The group understand as they nodded, as she would better talk to the two of them than anyone else. As Naruto sat down beside soccer. Seriously. How the hell did you return, he said. I remember holding your body in my arms, said Naruto, as he looked at his hands that were shaking a bit. Before they stopped, I couldn't save you. I wasn't quick enough. I failed to save you. And you died right in front of me, said Naruto, as he closed his eyes. Lightning started cackling around his body, without him noticing. As it changed from pure white to red in an instant, Naruto, stop, Sakura said, as she moved towards him. As she grabbed him by his head, and pressed his head against her chest as she held on to him. Ino came over as she was confused by the way Sakura was acting, until Sakura took her arm and pulled her in as well. I'm not going anywhere, like I said before. I'm here to love you and Eno, to protect and serve. The lightning slowly started to dissipate around Naruto. You all are a couple, but I wish to be the third piece to fill the puzzle. The two looked at her as they wonder who the hell was this woman and how was she in soccer body because this was definitely not soccer. Flashback. Where am I? Said soccer as he looked around. Everything was so white and bright. As she could not really see, it was just so white. As she wondered what was going on. I'm afraid that you're dead, child. She looked up to see a man, his face, being hidden by the white light. But he was dressed in this strange, priest clothes. As the room then switched, as she found herself on the floor, as she saw a chair behind her and a chair in front of her. Sit, the man said. As the man sat down, as he ran a hand through his grey hair, she sat down as her green eyes looking into his golden, yellow eyes. I'm dead? He nodded sadly, causing her to blink in confusion. No, that, that can't be right, she said. I was with Sasuke and Naruto in the bridge, and Kakashi Sensei, and that mask guy and Zabuza. How, how did I die? She shook her head. She didn't believe this. She had made Naruto promise that she would train with him. With his help, she would become a true Kunoichi. No, she she was not dead. What if I gave you a chance to return back to the world of Levin? What would you do with this next chance? The man said to her, completely ignoring everything that she said. As Sakura looked at the man, something was wrong. Things that she tried to suppress for years just came up in her. She didn't know why. For years, she believed that she was in love with Sasuke. As now she felt strange. As she was sitting here, she didn't feel in love towards Lucia. None at all. Why not? She was confused. Instead, there was another person in her mind. Naruto. She wanted to protect him and help him reach his dream. But she never thought of this before. And just in case Inu decided to leave, she wanted to be there for him. What was these feelings popping up inside of her? And these feelings towards Inu as well? I... Speak your mind, child, the man told her. She couldn't help it as she started to say everything that was on her mind. I want to help Naruto Uzumaki reach his dream. Being beside him, just in case Inu 
decided to get up and leave. I want to support him. As she clenched her fist at his feelings, slurred out. What's happening? She asked the man. He nodded, seemed satisfied by her answer. You know, understand, the man said. She was confused. What's happening? What are you? His hands started to crack with lightning. This may hurt a bit. But good luck on your journey, Sakura Uno. You know what you have to do. Your heart is now free. As he thrust his hand and he slammed right into her, she was knocked away. Sakura gasped as he was blasted out of her grief. As she took several deep breaths, she looked around. As she slowly got to her feet as she brushed herself off. I'm coming, Nurtakan, Inoheim. I hope you all survive without me for this long. What am I saying? Of course you did, she said, as she rushed off. End of flashback. So that's how you returned to Kakashi, after a moment as he leaned against the tree trunk. As he was gazing at the pink head, who simply nodded. As she was resting against Naruto and Ino, using them as pillows, Kakashi looked at the girl. As that didn't really make any sense. She came back and now he didn't really understand. But he had to answer her questions. Well, Choji had left him ten, and Naruto has replaced him. So you can't be on Team Ten with them. Well, that's a mistake, Kakashi said the voice. The group turned to see Lord Hokage said Kakashi. Oh, I believe that Team Ten can be the first squad in history that has a five or a six member. I mean, after all, you're helping them train Kakashi. You could also take Sakura under your wing and you would be a part of Team Ten as permanent backup. Kakashi turned towards Asuma, who seemed to argue with the idea. All of them seeming rather calm about the fact that she just came back from the literal dead. She got to her feet as she pulled Ino and Ruta up. Alright blondies, come on. Let's get a training, she said. Sakura-chan said Ruto. Why are you so hyper, he said. Yeah, really for Sakura, Ino said. And she didn't feel like it was right to call her forehead anymore. The group realized that she didn't even understand why she was given a chance, but she was. I'm hyper because I realized what I was doing wrong with my life when I died. And I promised myself I would change that once you said you would help me with training Naruto. That was the first step of me realizing my mistake. And now I'm free. I know Ino can help me as well. And she gave her a smile before she looked Ino up and down. As the group realized what she was doing, as they looked towards the scene. Alright, enough flirting, Sakura. Time for a training, Sekakashi. Find the whole thing unorthodox. Shikamaru, are you gonna join? As Shikamaru was lying down, as he found the whole thing just too troublesome, it would be way more trouble to list you and Asuma, nagging me to join. As he yawned, as he stepped beside the three of them, effectively, using them as shields. Sakura, your lightning, what else can you do besides heal? She tapped her chin as she smiled. Well, I don't know yet. Perhaps we'll have to go by error and trial, she said. As she held out her hand as pink lightning form, Kakashi narrowed his eyes. Well then, as he lifted up his headband, let's see exactly what he can do. Oh, so we're getting serious, huh, said Naruto. As smoke and lightning emerged on his left hand, ice spikes arrived on the other. As Ino pulled out several kunai, well, looks like it's a Kakashi. As Shikamaru was already coming up with a plan. Meanwhile, a certain snake Sanin was slaughtering people. He was ripping them apart. Out of his anger, his prime candidate Sasuke Uchiha was dead. Now who would he get? Which body would he take over? It was nagging at him. It was itching at him to just release it in so much rage that he started to slaughter his own people that work underneath him. As that just brought his desire to burn the leaf even more up, he would burn the leaf. He would make sure everyone there suffer. For him not getting what he want, everyone there will die. Three hours later, after a completely wrecked training ground, as the team was at the barbecue restaurant with Choji. So, Sakura, now that you're back, what are you going to do? As Team 8 was there as well, as Kiba was the one that asked the question, still surprised that she was alive. 
Well, I'm gonna kick up the training with Team 10 and make sure that we're ready when tuning exams come around. Can't be caught on guard in no can we? We have to make sure that we're all ready. Her bubbly attitude was still getting used to by the others. I mean, she returned from the dead with this new attitude and these new abilities. Some things weren't just adding up. Thanks for the lunch, Asuma Sensei, said Naruto. Ask him, and Shikamaru and the group made their way off. So, what's their deal? I mean, I know that Ino and Naruto are dating, but this soccer is different. Is she like the third wheel? Kiba said, raised the eyebrow. She no glanced towards Hinata, and she looked crestfallen. I do not believe that soccer san is a third wheel, as you call it. More of a. I do not know how to put this in words. As he pushed up his glasses, I do believe that Sakura-san is in a relationship with Uzumaki and Yamanaka, thus somehow creating a triangle of sorts. So you're saying that he's dating both of them at the same time? As Kiba rubbed his chin. Nice. His remark caused Kurenai to glare at him. As, back with the group. Hey Shikamaru, where are you going? said Naruto. Being a fourth wheel is not fun. You guys probably need some time to chat and besides, it's been a while since I've been cloud watching and with the stressful day I had, let me do my cloud watching. As Naruto turned towards the two as he watched Kamar leave. Chat about what said Naruto, as he found everything rather straightforward. She was dead and then she came back to life and now she wanted to be with them and protect them. Yeah, it kind of sounded crazy to even him but she didn't know and how would they find out so it made no sense for them to go hunting for something that they could not find. I think he means about us, said Ino. Ino is right. I mean I know you two are dating but I also want to be in on the relationship as well. Sakura chirped up as that made the other two blush slightly at hearing that. If we're going to talk about this not in the open, let's head to my place at Ino as they made their way. As her father was on a mission and her mother had went out grocery shopping and she would be gone for a bit. So they were all alone. Time skip. Come on guys, I don't think that tuning exams will be such a bad thing. I'm sure that we can pass through to that breeze and Naruto. As he was promptly hit over the head by Sakura. Sakura-chan, what was that for? He said. We're gonna kick their asses as she hit him once again. Before Ino hit him. Ino-chan, he said. Naruto, don't be so cocky, she told him. Yes, do not be so cocky. We gotta play it safe and never underestimate the enemy, said Sakura. As she reprimanded her boyfriend. As she gave Ino a grin. It has been a couple of days since they had had their little talk at Ino's house. Let's just say things did not go as Naruto expected. They have a point, even though they're troublesome girls. Said Shikamaru as they arrived to see a commotion happening. What do you mean we can't pass? As Sakura blinked when she saw the eyebrows of the guy that spoke. Are those eyebrows real? She said. As Naruto walked over as he wondered what the commotion was. As the guy in the green suit turned towards him. As Naruto looked towards the door. An illusion, huh? Well then, let's get going. As his group started to walk away. But he was stopped by the ninja in the green clothing. Wait, who are you? I'm Naruto Uzumaki. Who are you? Said Naruto. I am Rock Lee. As he was about to say something else until he paused. When his eyes caught sight of Sakura, he then spoke, you, my fair beauty, who are you, he said. I am Sakura Haruna, she said, she stepped forward, getting in between Ino and Naruto, the both of their girlfriends. You may be a fellow Leaf Shinobi, but in order to pass the exam, I'm going to knock your ass in next month. Got it? Crystal, said Lee. Thank you, she said, a sweet smile. As her attitude just changed rather quickly. Now, let's do our best, shall we? As she took their arms and moved away. Shikamaru sighed. Sorry. There are a bunch of troublesome people. He said to Lee. As he walked past him. As the group arrived to see Kiba and his team as they greeted all of them. Well then, shall we go and kick their asses? As Naruto was elbowing the side by both of his girlfriends. Son of a bitch. Stop that, said Naruto. As the both of them hit him once again, they seemed to like it. As Naruto felt strange, not because of them. He did not mind it, he was just... Sometimes it irritated him, but it wasn't painful or anything. But someone was... Watching him. 
He turned to see a ninja from the sand, red head with a goat on his back. As he was staring directly at him, his eyes had ring over them like he hadn't slept in months. As Naruto tilted his head before he nodded to the boy. Surprised when the boy actually tilted his head down like he was nodded back but like he kind of, he was just weird. As he was a girl with four ponytails next to him and a boy in a black bodysuit with makeup. As Kiba started to talk rather loudly, causing someone to come over, you guys shouldn't be this loud. Shikamaru narrowed his eyes, who are you, he said, as he's seen many Kanoha ninjas and yet, this guy's face just, he never seen it before, he didn't know why but it caught his attention for some reason. Oh I apologize, I'm Kabuto. As Nurk looked at the newcomer, he did not know all of Kanoha Shinobis but, Something just... He didn't know what it was but there was a feeling. It was the same feeling that Shikamaru was feeling. As this newcomer just stand out a bit. As Naruto has never seen him before. So, Kabuto was it? Have you participated in tuning exam before? Actually, you know. Oh yes. Actually, it's harder than most think it is. This is actually my 7th try. 7th try, huh? Says Shikamaru. As Naruto narrowed his eyes. As he heard the voice of Kakashi popped into his head. Always look underneath the underneath. Seven try, huh? It must be very hard then, said Naruto, as he chuckled. Well, you just gotta know the right people and stay out of trouble, and I'm sure you guys will be fine, said Kabuto, as he chuckled back. Oh, said Kabuto, there's something alright, you maggots. Sit your ass down. Hmm, another time then, he said, as Ibiki came in. As instructions were gave, as they all faced their papers. After they were told to begin, Naruto spread his senses. Sakura was at the front, Shikamaru was behind him, Ino was over to his left. As he picked up his pencil, this test was about cheating. Everything that the man said, and not to mention you would not be instantly disqualified, and these questions were hard as hell. As Naruto focused his chakra as miniature ice mirrors form on the ceiling, he maneuvered them above the lights. So they would not be seen as he used them to cheat by using reflection until the sand ninja beside him raised his hand. Can I use the bathroom? Make it quick. You will have an escort with you. Yeah, yeah, whatever, the sand ninja said. As Naruto noticed the bandage pack on his back was not there anymore, he was probably using it to cheat. As Ino noticed Sakura in front of her, the Sakura was right now, eh? Surely she wouldn't mind as she used her mind body technique. As Sakura felt the foreign entity in her mind the moment he came in, as she allowed her to see her paper. Alright, Ibiki said, as many of them were weeded out after they were caught cheating. As Ibiki told them that if they fail this part, they will never be able to take the exam ever again. As many people quit. After no one else was getting up, he finally spoke. For all of you that stay, you pass. What? The 10th question was to test your nerve. Firstly, the first part of the exam was to see if you can gather intel without getting caught. But seeing like you, Ibiki was cut off as the window was burst open. As someone flipped inside, a banner being pinned up with Uncle Mirashi written on it. I'm here, she said, spreading her arms. Ibiki sized the rubber hand on his face. Time skip. Alright, maggots, here we are. Train ground 44, otherwise known as the Forest of Death. The goal is to survive for 5 days in this forest. Your objective, get a scroll from the other squad. Each team will get a heaven or earth scroll. Your objective is to get the scroll that you don't have and proceed towards the tower in the center of the forest. If you lose a teammate, you're disqualified. If you open the scroll, before time is ready, you're disqualified. But before you go in there, you have to sign these. What are those? A waiver forms. You see this forest is full of man-eating plants. Tigers, snakes, all kind of things that will just be happy to rip you apart. As many of them sweat drop and they go up here in that, the group went as they signed up. After signing up, they were placed in front of a gate after they got their scroll. As the bell went off as they all rushed into the forest. Few minutes later, the sound of animals could be heard all over the forest. After 30 minutes of traveling the four, stop suddenly. When you're taking to a stop, what is it, Chikamar asks. I gotta take a leak, said Naruto, as Naruto started to unbuckle his pants. 
Eno and Sakura look towards him. And what are you doing? At Sakura. Not in front of us, you animal, said Eno. Fine, fine, said Naruto as he went to the bushes. Can you believe him, said Eno. A minute passed as Naruto finally came back. Are you guys ready to... He had to leap as Sakura destroyed the ground as her fists implanted in it. What the hell? What are you doing? He said, it's me. Oh really, said Chikamaru. As Eno tossed a kunai towards him as he ducked underneath it. What's Naruto's favorite type of ramen? Pork, said Naruto until fire and ash slammed into him viciously that burned him as he was launched away. You're wrong, sound ninja, said the real Naruto as he popped up. I don't have a favorite. I love all ramen. What happened? Said Sakura. Bastard thing that he could caught me off guard, said Naruto. His teammate didn't have the scroll either. So there's one of them running around somewhere around here, said Naruto, as he looked around. Shall we continue? Time skip. Oh guys, hold up, said Sakura. Something doesn't seem right. As she had a feeling of paranoia ever since Ninja from before, tried to ambush them. Like, Shikamar was about to say like what until he had to leap away. A fireball slammed into the tree. As Naruto looked up, is everyone alright, he said, as they all had separated. As Naruto pushed Ino away, as she had landed right beside him as a kunai whip past her skull and stabbed into the ground. Naruto pulled out his chain as it caught on fire as he spin and deflected everything coming towards him. He stood firing smoke blades in his eyes as he narrowed his eyes towards the direction. He met the gaze of the grass ninja from before. So you're the one that got away, said Naruto. Yes, it would seem that way. I am here for you, Naruto Uzumaki. Your power intrigues me. And I'm giving you a choice to get more. However, should you decline, you will most likely die. Lightning started cackling his smoke powers. Try me, bitch, said Naruto. The man launched towards him as Naruto leaped. As the man destroyed the branch that he was on. As Naruto launched, his chain straight up as he grabbed onto another branch and swing. As he came swinging down towards Urchimaru who deflected his kick. Urchimaru lashed out as he grabbed Naruto's leg but Naruto brought down his chain as he grabbed Urchimaru by the back. Right to strike right into him, he grazed his clothing but he flashed around Naruto until Naruto spin as a fist passed his head. As Naruto brought down his chain, the tree that Urchimaru was in front of got hit as Urchimaru vanished. Naruto's chain tear right through it as he turned, flipping as he landed to his feet. As Naruto then shot the chain from under his arm, as it slammed into Urchimaru's face as he emerged. Urchimaru stepped back as he gripped his face, as he started to chuckle. Oh, that tickle, he said. The group looked at the person's face as it was melting off. As Naruto narrowed his eyes, that face, you've seen it on a picture before. I know you, said Naruto. You're Urchimaru. As Urchimaru smirked, as Naruto launched a chain towards him, Urchimaru flashed away. As Naruto looked up, Shikamaru, Shikamaru moved as Urchimaru destroyed the ground where he was as he slid her towards Eno. As Naruto flashed in front of him, Urchimaru smirked as he reared his fist back and slammed it within Naruto's guts. As Naruto gripped his arm, Urchimaru was surprised that the blonde was able to stand up after that. As Naruto twisted the boat of the man, pulled them off the branch. Sakura released a blast of lightning as it singed Urchimaru's arm. He winced in pain as he looked. Annoying little girl as he opened his mouth, a snake rushed towards her. Sakura turned it into a crispy snake as she fried it with her lightning. As Naruto grabbed Urchimaru's arm and started to twist it, but the man then twisted his body in ridiculous degrees, slipping out of Naruto's grasp as he slammed, his heel on Naruto's head dropping him hard. The moment he landed, his shadow was captured by Shikamaru's. Shikamaru gritted his teeth as sweat built on his forehead, but it was too much as Urchimaru ripped himself out of it. Mere child play, he said as he pulled out his blade from his throat. Before he launched it at Naruto, as Naruto batted away, with his chain. As the two engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat, Aruchimaru smiled as he realized that Naruto was a powerful one. He'd make a fine Naruto flashed behind him with nothing but raw speed as he wrapped the chain around his neck and yanked him downwards. As Aruchimaru's body turned into mud, as he flashed behind Naruto, Aruchimaru felt something coming behind him. As he snapped his finger, the Kuznagi ran through the thing. As the purse slowed down, oh poor dear. Shouldn't try to stop me, Urchimaru said. As he pulled the sword out, as Eno fell off the chunk of the tree, 
soccer leap as she caught her. As Naruto felt his throat itch, his eyes widened as he watched Inu in soccer grasp. Blood pouring from her stomach as she was not moving. Naruto lost it or tomorrow realized that this was his chance as he moved as he bit in Naruto's neck. But he was not prepared for Naruto to reach out and grab his face. Urchmar scream as Naruto burned his face, literally started to tear his face into half. As he screamed out in pain as he slammed his face in Naruto's gut with pressure behind it. Blood sprouted from Naruto's mouth, but he slammed his own head into Urchmaru's. The snake saw him staggered back as Naruto drive a fist into his gut before he reached out to grab the man's throat but Urchimaru twist and slam this heel into Naruto's stomach. As Naruto crashed on the ground, as he started to wince in pain, something was happening to his neck, as it was just taking effect. Damn you Uzumaki, Urchimaru said in pain. But don't worry, soon enough we will come together and learn how to work together. As Naruto felt the burning sensation, as smoke and amber burn off his body, as he forcefully got to his feet, you know, he said rushing over as Urchimaru fled. As Shikamaru came over as he was closer. How is she? He asked. The cursed sword had been batted away from Urchimaru as it was still there. She's dying, Sakura said. But I know an ancient jutsu that can help her. A technique to be precise. What is it? It's called fusion. Do you want Ino to live as much as I do? As Naruto's neck was pulsating, but yet he stood firm. As he nodded, Sakura placed a hand on her chest and she placed a hand on Ino's chest before. Her body burst into white lightning as she traveled in Ino's mouth. As a bright light exploded out from Ino, forcing them to look away from the scene. The light faded after a few seconds as they finally regained their sight. I happened. It's the voice. As they looked towards the new girl that stood there. Shoulder length blonde hair with pink streaks running down her hair. Her eyes were light blue with flecks of green in them. What happened to Shikamaru? Sakura saved me. And now she's in here. Encouraging me on and living with me. As she pointed at her temple. She looked towards the ground at the Kusanagi blade. As she gripped it. It transformed into a flower right in front of her eyes. Well, that's something. Are you okay, Whiskers? She asked. As Naruto was shaking, as he grabbed her into a tight hug, we should probably get moving. Being out in open like this is not good. So with that they move. As Shikamaru watched Naruto as they move, he lost soccer a month ago before getting her back. He was sure that his brother was in turmoil but he was not releasing it now because they were in the exam. As Naruto then suddenly paused, as he fell off the branch that he was hopping on, Shikamaru leaped as he caught the blonde. As he settled him down on the ground, as Naruto screamed in agonizing pain, the mark on his neck pulsating even more, a sickly purple, as black smoke started to pour around him, as he started to twist in the mark and change, as a three tomo mark appeared on his neck, it was similar to the Sharingan as Eno looked over him, what did that snake bastard do, she said. As Naruto passed out, Ashikamaru checked his pulse, he's alive, but he's unconscious. I don't know what that snake freak did, but we have to get him out of here. As he picked him up, Eno, let's try to get somewhere for camp quick. Right, said Eno. She will find that snake freak. She would make him suffer for forcefully making self refuse with her and causing Naruto so much pain. She didn't mind about the fusion, but her thoughts were a kind of jumble. Some of them were suckers. Unbeknownst to them, a thrill from the sound was given an order to go and find Naruto and test out his abilities. And that include fighting him. So they had a fight coming for them. The two found themselves under a giant tree as they came to a stop as they rest Naruto down. The day was a long one and a hard one. The group decided to rest. After a few moments as our team moved in. Dosu. Do you see him? Yep, our target is currently unconscious. But maybe after hearing his friend scream he will wake up. Ken, are you ready? Almost a king. As the sound threw a watch from a small distance away, but the sound team had a big problem in their hands. Whatever Urchimaru did to Naruto, it was gonna change him because of his abilities. 
giving him at least a 75% increase in power. They were screwed like hell. And not to mention he was already pissed from Eno getting hurt and about the whole situation. If he found out that they belonged to Urchimaru, well, it was gonna be ugly. But you guys can find that out in the next episode, yes guys. Because I'll be ending this episode right here. If you enjoy this and you want to see next part, just comment down below and tell me when to see next part guys. And I'll be posting it as soon as possible. And also remember, if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice, Yes, I indeed have three channels and making and making two and making three, which I post what if on every single day for you guys to enjoy. So go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the making family. And thank you for all of your help and support. Remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be your plan talking about to all of you. So yeah. Without further ado, and also guys, remember to go ahead and check out the brand new series over. Well, sorry, brand new episode, I mean. Over an enemy king of what if Naruto opened the gates of alchemy and got all of their abilities. So go ahead and enjoy that guys. And yeah. Ah, mode for now. See you guys soon. Peace.